Welcome back to my studio. In today's video, I will show you how to embroider this lovely girl holding a spring tulip bouquet. The PDF pattern and guide for this design is available. Details are in the description. Let's get started. We will start with the facial features and outlines. I will use two strands of floss 310 and the outline stitches for the eyes. I will use straight stitches for the brows. I will use the fly stitch for the nose. I will use one strand of the same floss to reinforce the iced outlines. and embroider the mouth with the fly stitch. I will continue with the same floss and embroider the outlines mostly with the whipped back stitches. However, since the ears and the hand are very small, I will use back stitches for them. Next, I will use two strands of floss 761 and the satin stitches for the blushes. I will use one strand of the same floss for the lips. I will also use one strand of floss 223 to create some depth for the lips. I will use one strand of floss 761 to add color to the eyelids. For the skin, I will use two strands of floss 3774 and the satin stitches. We will embroider around the facial features and stay within the outlines. I will go back with one strand of the same floss to fill in any gap and stitch down a few satin stitches to define the skin. Then I will use the same floss and satin stitches for the ears.
we will continue down the neck and chest area with the same floss and stitches. For the arms and fingers, I will use one to two strands of floss 3774 and embroider the satin stitches vertically. I will increase and decrease the number of strands as needed to fill in any blank spaces in the embroidery. For the shirt, I will use two strands of floss 159 and the satin stitches. Again, I will go back with one strand of the same floss color to fill in any gap and secure any satin stitches as needed. Let's move on to the hair. First, I will use 12 strands of 818 and the chain stitches to embroider the braided bangs from the hair parting to the left ear. Then I will use one strand of 223 and embroider the satin stitches vertically to create the hair behind the head. This creates some depth and dimensions to our embroidery. Next, I will use one to two strands of 818 depending on the embroidery space and the satin stitches for the hair on the head. We will follow the flow of the hair and shape our stitches accordingly. We will divide our hair embroidery into two sides, creating the hair parting a little off-center. Next, I will use two strands of floss 818 for the braids. We will create satin stitches in a fishbone pattern to imitate the braided hair.
Then we will create vertical satin stitches for the remaining hair below the braids. For the bouquet wrapper, I will use 6 strands of floss 437. We will create rows of chain stitches from one end to the other to fill in the wrapper. I will use two strands of 3051 and the satin stitches to embroider the tulip leaves. Then I will use one strand of the same floss and the straight stitches to embroider the stems. For the flowers, I will use three strands of variegated floss 99 and the satin stitches to embroider the tulips. The variegated floss creates very nice color transitions that make the flowers livelier and more natural. I will create several layers of satin stitches to create a relief effect for the flowers and make them rounder and plumber. Let's remove the transfer. I will cut off the excess transfer around the embroidery very carefully so as not to cut into the fabric or stitches. Then I will hand wash the fabric to dissolve and remove the remaining transfer layer and let it air dry. The wash will sometimes move the stitches and create some minor flaws in the embroidery. So I will go back with one strand of matching floss colors to correct any details as needed. Then I will use three strands of floss 99 and embroider the hair bow tie. I will create the lazy daisy stitches for the wings and straight stitches for the rest of the bow tie. Additionally, you can add some minor details on the bouquet, loose hair strands, or anything at all to make your embroidery even lovelier and more personable.
and that's my lovely girl and spring tulips embroidery design give me a thumbs up to let me know if you enjoyed this video comment below if you have any questions or feedback or simply say hello the link to the pdf pattern and guide is in the description subscribe to my channel for more content follow me on social media subscribe to my email list and consider becoming a Patreon member to receive more content, stay connected, and be a part of a growing community that loves embroidery. The link tree is in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again very soon.